Hey guys, welcome back to the Pass Money Plan. Uh, today we're gonna be talking about minimum wage. Kirby's gonna educate me on this because uh, haven't been on haven't been on this earth for too much time. So I was uh I was stating that minimum wage people can't live off of, and Kirby said that minimum wage was initially designed for people to live off of, which I did not know. I thought it was the opposite. So what what there was so. I don't know if it, I want to paraphrase it. Was the intended the the purpose of it was the minimum wage was to it's a minimum amount that you could pay people because this would be you know pseudo of how much it'll cost. But like I said, this is federal, so state to state is different. Usually in every state, usually in every state, the minimum wage is higher than what the federal guidelines are. And then I, I wanted to, and the reason why, and I was giving this example off camera, but I'll bring it on camera. So I went back to 1980, 1980, the federal minimum wage was 315, right, Alex? That's what I said. 310, I think you said. 310, 310. This was federal. Michigan, Michigan was higher. Let me, I know the reason why I'm using Michigan, because that's where I'm from. So I'm not trying to talk bad about Michigan. Let me look up Michigan minimum wage 1980. Perfect. So Michigan minimum wage was the same as the federal minimum wage, 310. So it's right in line. Right in line. So, and the only reason why I bring this up, 310, because uh, my mom, she started working at, and if anybody don't know, it's, you know, recession is time in the United States at that time for all you, you youngins. Um, but my mom, she uh, got a job working uh, for an insurance company, uh, and she was making six fifteen an hour. At six fifteen an hour, my mom was able to buy a house, not in the hood. She bought a house, she bought a car, and then she still helped out family members along the way at six fifteen an hour. This is six fifteen. So let's cut that in half. So my mom could buy a house, buy a car, and help assist family members and we still went on vacation in the summer to Babalo for again for all you old heads out there that remember Babalo that was my spot but um she could do all that off of 615 an hour then somebody that just say a single person back in 1980 310 they can get an apartment and have groceries and go to work I'm not saying that they could live in the lap of luxury but they could afford the bare minimum, bare minimum then. So what happened from then, and of course, I know what it is, people. I know houses was cheaper, cars was cheaper, and everything else. That's how they was able to afford it. So to caveat that, so what happened is the federal government, the state governments, they never, when it comes to the minimum wage, they never kept up with it. So if we look right now, the last time minimum wage was increased, yeah, here we go. Last time minimum wage was increased was 2009, and that was at 725 an hour. What's funny is I remember when I was getting out the military around that time, 2007, only job I could find, again, recessionary times, only job I could find was only paying 925 an hour, and this was in Texas. It was enough, it was enough to pay me about three, four, three, four hundred dollars a month. But rents was not that I mean, super high, huh? A week, three four hundred a week. Yeah, three hundred. Yeah, that's it. A month, good God, yeah. <laughs> oh, man, no. <laughs> three four hundred dollars a week. So three four hundred dollars a week. So that that's what let's call it nine to twelve hundred dollars a month, right? Nine twelve hundred dollars a month. Uh, of course, I probably wouldn't be able to stay in the best areas. Uh, but you know, I remember my rent was only. Especially when I was at uh, Fort Hood in Colleen, Texas, my room was only three seventy five a month. Wow, three seventy five a month, single uh, one bedroom apartment. It was pretty decent. Gave me enough money to go get Wendy's. So you know, I still was on that Wendy's trail back then. <laughs> enough to give me Wendy's. <laughs> so that's what I'm saying. But what happened is. Since then, that seven twenty five increase. This is a federal level. I know every state is different, so please don't kill me if your state is higher. I'm just breaking on the federal level. That's why I'm saying 
At the federal level was this, but you know, this is how much I'm, I mean. But now prices has skyrocketed way further. Somebody making 725, you have to go live in a shoebox on the corner in Arkansas. And I'm not speaking bad about Arkansas. I'm just talking about it's the lower cost of living in Arkansas and California, Florida, New York to be able to afford to live. The cost has went up dramatically. That's why it's all these things out there trying to increase the minimum wage, increase the minimum wage, increase the minimum wage. All right, so in Congress, to try to rectify this issue for this 2009 to 2023, how many years is that between, Alec? That's uh, 12 years. Well, so no, 12 no, years. 14, 12, 14 years. 14 years. 14, 14 years, prices have eight, nine times, the cost of living is eight, nine times what the minimum wage number is. And then so uh, Congress is trying to pass a bill called Raise the Wage Act of 2023. This will raise the federal minimum wage to $17 per hour over five years. They're trying to do that right now. Eliminate, yeah, that's what they're trying to do. This will eliminate the tipping sub minimum wage workers over seven years. So that's what they're trying to do, but just think about it. Congress, government, they're always working off of lagging indicators. About time, so oh, $17 an hour over five years, that's what, 28, 2028? In five years, $17 an hour, $17 an hour can barely afford people to live today. You can live in a, a very, very bad neighborhood, not in Florida, because I don't even care what kind of neighborhood you are in Florida. It's expensive. But $17 an hour, you can barely survive in most parts of America today. What do you think it's going to be like five years from now? So it's still lagging way behind. It's better than where it's at. I'd rather it be 17 than no team, but it's still going to be a lagging indicator. So that's really how it all transpired. So at a time, it was a time in the 80s where there are ways you could survive. Go ahead. Got a question? Yeah. No. So, so is this getting passed or is this just spoken about right now? I think this is getting spoken about. The bill increases the minimum wage over a five-year period. Newly hired employees. I don't know if it's passed yet. Let me see. We're going to look it up right now, live on TV. You know, it was proposed. The, the, okay. raise, the Raise the Rage Act is proposed uh, unit, United States Senate law that would increase federal minimum wage to $15 an hour. It has been introduced in each U.S. state Congress since 2017 to provide increase to the federal minimum wage and for other purposes. It's just a proposal. It's not. Okay. It's not going through yet. It's not like Florida. Florida's already there at fifteen dollars an yeah. hour. By twenty twenty six. But yeah, so that's that's really what it is. It's government drug defeat and things like that. Now, I'm going to ask you this question: Do you think the minimum wage will help or hurt the current? We've actually we actually asked me this question before. Um mm -hmm. off camera. I think it uh I think it hurts the economy because it just raises it up. So the reason I asked you is like, is this gonna happen? Is this actually gonna happen or is this just spoken about? Is because states like Georgia Wait, time out, time out, time out. Yeah. I already know. Alex was like this, like, wait, it's already happening? Wait, wait, I need to get some more properties. Hold on, let me see where I need to go. I see, I see the look in your eye. Well, as soon as I seen it, I, I seen like, the look in your you eye. That's, why, that's why, I seen it. That's why I asked you a question. Did you think it's going to help or hurt the economy? I, I seen the twinkle. I was like, his eye twitched, like, whoa, what? All right, go man. I mean, my bad, man. I just, think about states like Georgia. Like, we're already investing there. Seven twenty-five an hour is the minimum wage in Georgia. If it goes from mm -hmm. that's still Georgia's minimum wage. Yeah. yeah. If they go from okay, go ahead, go ahead. I'm listening. 
they go from seven twenty five to seventeen an hour. That is huge. I mean, for investors. I mean, but then at the same time, like, so how would it hurt the economy? Is they're gonna see the same effect that Florida saw, and I saw more people in pain than I saw benefiting from what happened in Florida, and you know, and that was that was off of fifteen an hour in Florida. Most companies already did that. We don't hit fifteen an hour until twenty twenty six. But if it goes right off the bat to seventeen an hour in Georgia, I mean, and then what's that? yeah, it's gonna be an escalator type deal. Yeah, like okay, Florida. okay, okay. So it'd be the same thing. Um, but you know, what is that gonna do for small businesses as well? Which Georgia has a lot of. You know, are they gonna be able to keep employees? And yeah, that's that's a that's crazy. Yeah, that's interesting. And not just Georgia, but I mean, look at all the states around it. The whole Bible Belt. You got Louisiana. I don't know what their minimum wage is, but Louisiana, Mississippi, Arkansas, like you mentioned, like all those states, low uh, low cost of living. But that's gonna if they if they get hit like because Florida used to be what was it eight fifteen an hour, and Florida was pretty affordable, and that's why I'm saying you know just from experience you know before you could buy a you could buy a three two in Florida for I remember looking at a Oh, is it a? It was a three-two here in Lakeland in twenty nineteen, remodeled. It was like thirteen hundred square feet. It was like ninety grand, and you know a three-two now like it's like three fifty. So three fifty in your third board. Three fifty in your third board. Yeah, it's like so. You know what's gonna happen if. Uh, to these uh, to these states like that, it's gonna be crazy. Yeah, no, I, I give you credit because you just you said it. You said a key part of that. Use Florida as the litmus test. Uh, everything in Florida went up. Everybody in a perfect world, people want to believe that. All right, I'm making this. It will increase to this. This is the same thing that happened in Florida. They raised the minimum wage to fifteen dollars an hour. Just happened to have COVID hit. People wasn't working. So for most jobs already in Florida, and it's supposed to go to 2000, it's supposed to go into effect in 2026 that the minimum wage in Florida is $15 an hour. So they was going over the gradual step. But COVID, people wasn't working. Most jobs now already pay over $15 an hour in the state of Florida because of the lack of workforce. But understand this. When everybody's just thinking, hey, I make... We'll just use this example. I'm making seven twenty five an hour, and I go up to fifteen dollars an hour. I'm gonna give you two examples, right? That's what everybody thinking. Understand when this happens, everybody know more people have more money, so everybody's gonna want that more money. Cable bills gonna increase, the cell phone bills gonna increase, the rent gonna increase, groceries gonna increase. This is the things that we saw in Florida. So understand that. And then another litmus test that we saw was Walmart. When Walmart brought their minimum wage to everybody had, was it $10 an hour? Yeah, something like right. right. Whatever. They, they raised their minimum wage in their stores. What happened to Walmart? Walmart closed stores. Walmart automated. No, Walmart was genius. They made the customers become their employees because now you got to check out your own stuff. But they cut the workforce. They cut stores. They did all of this stuff. So a few people, instead of the big the big conglomerate of people that they had working for them, so now a few people are getting their enhanced minimum wage. When costs rise, businesses are not going to lose money. People are going to lose jobs. That's just what's going to happen. So, so Alex, you got something on like that? Yeah, so that would raise the question, too. Like, Because we saw this in Florida, too. Like, small businesses get affected. But look at like all of these distribution centers for Walmart, Amazon, Target, these companies that raise their minimum wage. So they're going to start stealing jobs away from these small businesses and, and essentially kind of put on a monopoly effect because they can almost provide the same service, too. No, I mean, I don't look at it as still they're going to steal them. That, that, look at it as if they let's say let's say. 
I'll just stick to the Walmart to so keep it simple. Walmart used to be the biggest employer in the United States, right? Right. They increased the minimum wage. So to pay these people more, because understand, the Waltons ain't losing money. They ain't losing money. Right. So to pay these people, these shareholders, these shareholders are not losing money. To pay these people, let's say 15, 10, whatever that number was, of the new enhanced minimum wage, um, across the board, the budget stayed the same. They made, Let's say they even added an extra billion dollars to the budget they had for employees. But they wiped out a whole bunch of employees because they couldn't pay 200,000 employees $10 an hour. They probably only could pay 100,000 employees or 150,000 employees. So a lot of people left. That's why you see the self-checkouts, all the self-checkouts at Walmart, to eliminate the workforce, automate. That's why Amazon have all these robots and stuff to help fill orders and stuff like that to eliminate the workforce because they're only going to use what their allotted labor amount is. It's not going to be, oh, well, we're going to make more money. That means Jeff Bezos got to give me a percentage of his paycheck to do it. No, that's not how business works. But for the people that's still making a minimum wage, I hope it gets better. But understand when you're when your income increase is going to be people, it's going to be landlords, it's going to be grocery stores in your local area. Everybody knows the uh, unemployment. I mean, the uh, minimum wage has increased. So everything will come gradually. Housing will cost more. And I, Alex, I remember and we dragging on this video, but I remember when, when this ideal and concept came up, we had a conversation uh, when Florida said $15 an hour. I said, if, if, $15 an hour is the minimum standard in Florida. It has to be a snowball escalating effect to it. That means if you can't survive on $15 or whatever the previous one was, $8, $10, let's just say $10. If, if you can't afford to live on $10 in Florida, when it gets up to $15 an hour, the price to live in Florida will get to a point where eventually $15 an hour, you won't be able to live on that either. All right. I'm I'm at McDonald's. This is my last one, I promise y'all. I'm at McDonald's this weekend. Two days ago. I pull up in there and I said, hey, let me just get a large fry. I didn't want the meal. Just give me a large fry. They said five dollars. You turned up out of there like, oh, I'm at the wrong <laughs> spot. So I ain't gonna lie. I'm not paying five dollars for this fry when I can go to my spot and get the whole meal. You know what I mean? Yeah, so I come back there. So I just go do what I had to do. I come back there later that night and I was all right. I'm just going to get a meal this time. I go in there to get a meal and I, you know, I order my regular. I think it was like, a, you know, whatever I order. And then so the person at the, the cashier asked me, they said, hey, we don't have any medium cups that go with the meal. Is it OK if I give you a large cup? I said, yeah, as long as you don't charge me. For a large cup. They said, okay. But I'm looking at the screen. And then they said, and then they charged me for a large cup. I'm like, wait. You think I'm going to pay for the inefficiencies of this restaurant? I'm not paying more. And it was on 30 cents. But kind of a point here. Yeah, I'm, I'm not paying sure. for something. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm not paying for something because you don't have it. So you try to upcharge me. And the lady just said, oh, well, you don't have to buy it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I left for 30 cents. It wow. was just about the principle. What the that's what they're trying to do. To, that's what happens. Everything goes up. Five dollars for some fries? A potato? Hell no. That's crazy. So people use Florida, use Florida as a litmus test for you. Literally. With all that being said, guys, if you like the video, hit the like button, leave a comment down below, share this video, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next one.